You're the voice behind this, ano, itong tumutugtog na kanta ngayon, the God to Yes po, yes po. Okay. Uh, paano naging selection? Paano ikaw napili? Oh, basically, it was very quick po. Pinadalan po ako ng memo ng police records. Sinabi nila, oh, do you, are you familiar with this song, God to Believe the Magic? And I said, I said yes. So, nagpadala po ako ng acapella demo. Tapos, it was basically an audition na tapos natanggap ko po. Pero, sinong kumuha talaga? Uh, holy... From dito ba sa production? Yes, uh, in, uh, in approach po nila direct Gavi yung for the rights of the song and I was included in that. I'm sure naman familiar ka talaga sa song. Yes po, yes po. Uh, Even though I grew up in New York, uh, nanonood din po kami ng PFC so I'm familiar with Got to Believe in Lakat Niel uh, uh, and I've seen na din po yung movie ni Miss Cody. So binago mo lang konti ang very... Yes, version po. Mo because... yes, I wanted to do something na... Uh, Para hindi kasi, masyadong ma... Yeah, kasi parang kilala na itong song na ito sa Pilipinas. So I wanted to do something na more my style, mm -hmm. which is uh, very influenced by, let's say, Bruno Mars. Uh, okay, so I wanted to do something like that. Uh, influenced by Bruno Mars? And... Yeah, somewhat po. So ito? <laughs> parang ganun na po. Ah, oh, ka, kung makinig niyo po Pero nung, nung gagamitin sa film, anong reaction mo? Because first time mo na yes, yung song mo. Yes, super excited ako sobra. And super grateful po ako sa production in this movie for allowing me to do this. And uh, so yun, super, sana po magustuhan ng taong man yun. Pero born and raised ka sa... Well, I was born here and I moved to New York when I was five years old. What made you decide to... Pumunta ng Pilipinas. Or... It was um, a lot of um, advices from mga singers, opium singers na katrabaho po sa Amerika. Then I used to tour po with uh, mga opium singers. Sa Amerika, Miss Chaya, kay Zita Dingan, South Border, mga ganun po. And they would always advise me, oh, kaya ko pong kumanta sa Pilipinas. So, through a lot of different artists, I got to I got to meet different labels and people in the industry. And then ako nagsimula. Pero childhood dream mo talaga maging singer. Yes po. Tagal ko na. Here in the Philippines or in New York, syempre? Well, initially, sa, sa anywhere po talaga, gusto ko talaga kumanta lang. Pero the more I met mga Filipino fans sa mga tours na ginagawa ko sa US, parang nasayahan lang po kasi pagtangkilik ng mga Filipino fans sa mga artisang Filipino. So, ganun po yung gusto ko ma-experience katulad po sa mga OPM singers. Pero nag-audition ka po. Ah, yes like, po. Like, nag-join ka ng mga contest sa New York? Or... Sa New York, mga local contest, mga local singing contest sa New Jersey, sa New York lang. Ah, mga singing contest? Yes okay. po. Pero never American Idol oh, no. or... I was, too, I was too scared din po. Ah, na ganun. Na parang I wasn't good enough. Pero over time, I overcame that fear and mm. kumakata na din po. Pero now, anong plan mo? Uh, for good ka na dito sa Sana po. Or... Depende rin po sa how my music or where my music takes me kasi this... Um, yung, I'm coming up with an EP po and it's more, kasi I've been writing mga Tagalog songs and this is more focused on it's R&B and more English po. So if it picks up in America or wherever, I'm just ano, just going wherever the wind takes me. Pero meron ka ng song? Yes po. Original song? Yes po. Like, I have songs. Uh, I released um, two singles last year uh, entitled Dina Ba and Gasera. It's available on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Too. And I also did a revival of Wag Ka Nang Umayak ng Sugar Free. And that's, that's also available. So, you know. Pero ilang taon ka na? I'm 24. So, graduate ka na rin na? Actually, I'm taking a break from school. Ah, okay. So, wala kang plan? Ituloy, whatever. For now po, indefinite pa po yung leave. Pero sa Pilipinas, sino mga idol mo? Ay, yun po. Talaga nung bata po po ako, pinapaninig sa akin sila. Miss Jaya. And I've been lucky to work enough uh, work a lot with her na I get to call her my mama Jaya it's like we're basically family in this time so well, Jaya is like my biggest influence sa bata kasi super super pero yung style ni Jaya hindi naman sometimes po yung mga runs niya napipick up ko mga style niya napipick up ko so, mas ang bosses medyo malaki ang range ng voice mo somewhat po I would say so, yes po so single ka naman ah uh, yes po for now for now so wala kang planong pasukin din ang acting naman this time. Ako, Since na-experience mo na may mga premiere night na ganda nakikita mo. Kung may opportunity po, pupay naman po ako sa acting. Pero gusto yung dream collab? Dream collab? Uh, 
So you have I already said to Miss Jaya. Uh, aside from Jaya, of course. So my first ever job is sa US tour ko ni Casey Tandigan. As Casey. Dream ko po talaga mga kalab siya ati Casey. Makita mo na siya in person. Yes po, nag-tour po kami sa US. So nakaduet mo na or hindi? Yes po, nag-duet ko sa stage. So pwede ka na mag-collab with her. Ah, yes. Sa, sa next song or... Oh, oh. Sure. Yes, Mag-compose yes. ka ba? Nagsusulat ka? Yes, ma'am. I write my own songs. So, marami ka rin pa. Yes. Ayan, thank you very much, ha. And good luck, ha. Ano nga ito mo? Uh, 5, 11, 6 po ata. Hindi po ako nag-check it. Okay.